I'm hopping on the apple right here. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the students and we have our beautiful teachers from Southwest Leadership Academy Charter School in Philadelphia. But now, right here, right now, they are in the classroom that showed that let students try to prove that they are smarter than their teachers. It's winner take all on the cash, but the students want one thing, and that's bragging rights. But will they get it? We have 30 minutes to find out. Let's kick this thing off with a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, buzzers are gassed up. Kelvin, Umu, you're already ready to rock. I see you in a power stance. The answers are about to come. Are you guys ready, teachers? The time starts right now. Here we go. A decathlon is an athletic competition that includes how many different track and field events? First one in, Mr. Kabir. 10. 10 is right. Let's put 20 points on the board. A little extra credit, guys. We're doubling this up. Whose 1955 arrest sparked the Montgomery bus boycott? First one in, Mr. Kabir again. Martin Luther King. Incorrect. Free steal here. Buzz in if you know, Marty Atu. And we're looking for Rosa Parks there. What is 48 divided by six? First one is Miss Taff. Eight. Eight is right. In the US, what spotted breed of dog is traditionally referred to as the firehouse dog? Mr. Kabir. Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Teachers, up to 30 points, staring across. What state of matter has a definite shape and volume? Umu. Solid. Solid is right, get you on the board. What artist teamed up with Cardi B on the 2021 song, Rumors? Umu. Lizzo. Lizzo, every student buzzing in there. What ABC competition series has contestants testing their skills on a supersized miniature golf course? Mr. Kabir. Wipeout. Free buzz here. Got to take a guess, anyone? No buzzers? Holy moly! And that is it. Holy moly is right. Pop quiz is a bust right there. We are done. Teachers out to a 30 points. Nice job. And students coming out with a little bit of swagger there in the end. I'm seeing all those buzzers flying. Get the 20 points on the board. That felt good, right, Kelvin? Yep. All right, well, listen, we got plenty more questions where that came from, but let's meet our students and teachers today from Southwest Leadership Academy Charter School in Philadelphia. Here's the Timberwolves. Hi, my name is Mariatu Sabari. I'm an eighth grader, and I'm pretty good at ELA, so I know I'm going to kick their butt. <laughs> Hi, my name is Umu. I'm in seventh grade, and I enjoy cooking. Hello, guys. My name is Kelvin, and today I'm a seventh grader, and I'm going to beat them up, and we're going to win. Hi, I'm Ms. Tab. I'm a third grade girls teacher, and we're going to beat the students. Hi, Mr. Kabir. I'm the assistant dean of students. We're going to beat these kids today with, with ease. Go birds. Hi, I'm Mr. Sherwood. I'm the seventh grade math teacher, and I'm a proud father of three. I have to be honest with you guys. I have been doing this a very long time. I've never heard this much trash talk between teachers and students. <laughs> Everybody wants to win this thing. And listen, I'm feeling the vibe right now. It's a good game. We continue next with detention. Look out. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to start with the trailing team, but here's what I have to tell everyone at home who didn't get to see that. The students are over here planning which teacher is going to detention first. <laughs> They've got their eyes set, but guys, we'll hear the strategy coming up. All you have to do to send them to detention is get some right answers. And we start you with this category. It's math. You're going to take it. Pass or play? Play. You're going to play it? Okay, here you go. 
If a recipe for a dozen cookies calls for five cups of flour, but the chef is only making half a dozen cookies, how much flour does the chef need? You guys can talk about it. Two point five. Two point five. You can just tell me. Two point five. Two point five is right. Man, gets there right. Listen, they were about. They were trying to buzz in, guys. This is a team game right now. I love it. They're like, we need these points, Richard. We need to send our teachers to detention. And now you get to. Who's it going to be? Miss Tat, Mr. Kabir, Mr. Sherwood. Mr. Kabir, Mr. Kabir. Get out Listen, of here. You can't get say out. that fast get enough. Out. See you later, Mr. Kabir. I think it's important to point out that he is the assistant dean at the school, which usually hands out some pretty good detention. And Kelvin, the way you're, you're waving at him right now, maybe you had one? May I exactly what I would say. I'm not telling anybody. All right, students, nice job. Teachers, category now goes to you. Here it is, children's books. All right, we want paste. Ooh, going to pass. <laughs> Kelvin hates that. Here you go. Kelvin, you are a child. All right, this might be right up your alley. According to the, tithe, the title of a book by Mo Willems, what type of bird should you not let drive the bus? You guys can talk about it. Looking for a bird. A goose. <laughs> Need an answer, guys. I think goose. I wouldn't let a goose drive a bus, but that is not what we're looking for. Pigeon was the answer. What? And how about teachers? Did one of you guys say it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no! You had it! Ooh, you got to be a little bit louder next time. Okay. Listen, who's going to detention, teachers? Marty got to. Marty got to. Man, there goes our eighth grader and our team captain. Teachers are loving that. And she heads over there. Okay, we head back. Students with this category, okay? Pass your play on movies. Play. Play. You're gonna play. What is the name of the Firefly sidekick who follows Tiana and Naveen in the Disney movie Princess and the Frog? Looking for the Firefly sidekick. Yes? No, we do not. No, yes, they're really looking for Ray or Raymond. So one of you now goes to detention teachers. Who is it gonna be? Kelvin. Kelvin, out of the game, leaving Umu, seventh grader, all by herself. Here we go, teachers, back to you now. This is your category, science. Okay, we're gonna play. What is the term for the part of the human body where two or more bones meet to allow movement? For example, elbows or knees? A joint. For the win, joint and 40 points goes to the teachers. Ubu, I hate to do this, but you gotta go to detention. Come on over, Mr. Kabir, join this squad again as we rack up 40 points, get you to 70 on the game. And the students are over there wondering what happened. Hey, when we come back, they try to fight back. Can they do it? Join us after the break. Back to the classroom on the show today. It's the students and teachers from Southwest Leadership Academy Charter School in Philadelphia. Hey, everybody's playing a great game. Teachers have the slight lead, but this is where the students fight back. Let's go. Art class is next. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, and I'm up here with the students right now. Umu, are you ready to do this? Yeah. You have a big decision to make right now. Is it the red card or the blue card? Blue. All right, you take that. Stand right back here and open that up as I uncap your marker for you. Go ahead and you can look at your word. And get that open for you. What do you think? Let's take a look. Ooh. Okay. I give you this marker. I put five seconds on the clock. Starts right now. Good luck. Right, she's off the races here. Okay, stop right there. 
You guys ready? Yeah. Talk it out. No steals here, so let's hear what you're thinking. What is it? You guys can talk through it. A ring. A ring. Incorrect. Okay, you're gonna have five more seconds. You can add on to it. Ready? Time starts right now. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? What is it? Talk it out. What do you think? <laughs> A bag? A what? A jar. A bag? A jar. Incorrect. All right, you have 10 seconds now to finish this up. So take your time, work it around, and get 10 points on the line so you can do it. Time starts right now. Okay. You ready? She's like, I don't even want the extra 10 seconds. That was eight seconds. You ready? Guys, what is it? Here we go. A watch. For 10 points, there you go. Kelvin, coming off those top ropes with the watch. Absolutely, I'll take that. Very nice job fixing that drawing, getting it there. All right, we're gonna switch it out. We're gonna, uh, Mr. Kabir, you're gonna switch out with him over there. You can jump right over on that chair, over right there on the side stage. And we're gonna erase that. We're gonna give this marker to you. I'm gonna give you this card as well. And that's gonna be your word. Take a little look at it, see what you think. I'll let you know how he's feeling. Okay. Okay, all right. You ready? Yep. Time starts right now. Go ahead. All right, teachers are currently in the lead. All right, stop right there. You guys ready? Boom. A nose? The fastest guess of all time. It is a nose. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, that gets you there. 30 points and grabs you up to 100 points. Nicely done, guys, on that entire team. Hey, more points on the line. I'm flipping this out. Students, I'm busting out some extra credit. Let's go. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Teens, you're going to have 60 seconds during the commercial break to write down your answers. Correct answer here is 10 points. Students, we need these points. Here it is. How many U.S. states share a border with Louisiana? Bust out your maps. Get your answers ready when we come back. I give you that. And this game continues. You're watching The Classroom, everybody. Stay right there. Let this game continue. I can't wait to see what happens here. Welcome back to the classroom, guys. Today we have the students and teachers from Southwest Leadership Academy Charter School in Philadelphia. Teachers, you're imposing your will right now. You're having your way, but the students are known. Look, we're second half people, right? We've been studying and we're ready. Listen, who moves over here? She's got it. She's like, I'm ready to rock this. So what do you say, guys? Let's get into it. We asked that extra credit question right before the break, and it was this. How many U.S. states share a border with Louisiana? And students, we're going to start with you. Marty Yatu, what did you say? We went with five states. Incorrect. Teachers, what did you say? Three. That's what we were looking for. We guys, Texas, Arkansas, and Mississippi was the third one there. That's the three. Miss Tapp, I heard big news here because if the teachers win and the students win, either way, there's a giant party happening. Yes, <laughs> right for our staff at SLA. All right, so if teachers win, and then if students win. We're going to have a trip. We're going on a trip? Yes. Yep. Do we know where yet? Um, we we probably no idea go to yet, but we were planning skating. Yes. Oh, nice. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys can win that cash. Listen, I'm telling you, a lot of points still left on the line, and let's keep this thing going now. We jump right into our next game, and it's picture day, everybody. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We will show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I will give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, you will remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify that picture will win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, today we have three pictures on the docket. And teens, let's do this thing with a little bit of setup with picture number 
one. Let's cover those boxes. All right, that's what we're looking at and reveal three. Here it is. Its climate is very severe. Miss Taff. Mount Everest? Is that Mount Everest? That is Mount Everest with three boxes. <laughs> Kelvin, you were buzzing in like crazy. Did you have that answer too? Yes, I had that answer. Oh, they, she beat you by a half second. All right, it's all about speed here. Good luck, everybody, with question number two. Here we go. Cover those boxes up. This athlete was also a writer, an activist, and a Grammy nominee. All right, move to question two. I'm gonna pull three more of those boxes away. Let's do it. His sporting events were some of the most watched live TV broadcasts. Mr. Kabir. Muhammad Ali. Is that Muhammad Ali? That's Muhammad Ali. Gets you up to 130, and it is a train that is rolling. Here we go, our final picture. Students, you're gonna wanna get this one. This is the last one before final exam. And here is your photo. This celebrity is a fan of Harry Potter. I submit who is not. Clue number two, take three more boxes, please. Taylor Swift threw this singer a party for their 18th birthday. Umu. Olivia Rodrigo. Is that Olivia Rodrigo? Incorrect for the steel teachers, otherwise I'll give you another clue. All right, no buses in there. It was Kabir just staring at me going, wow. Let me see if we can do it right here with clue three. In 2022, she released her new album, Familia, and became a coach on The Voice. Ubu. Jennifer Lopez. Is that J-Lo? <laughs> Incorrect. Teachers for the Steel. Tough one here. Camila Cabello was what we were looking for there. Rocking the denim look. All right, so no answers there. Teachers, you hold a 130 to student 30 lead, but you are right where you need to be because 100 points separates you guys and you have 300 points still up for grabs. Let's do this thing. It's final exam time. All right, the topic of today's final exam is on this date. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about this final exam topic. Teams. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. And you're a team, so you're going to work together during the commercial break to answer these. So let's hear them with question number one. On December 25th, 1776, George Washington and the Continental Army famously crossed what river? Question number two. On July 27th, 2018, Drake released the video for nonstop a song that became popular on TikTok when people used a specific lyric to participate in what viral challenge? Finally, what is the first name of the Italian astronomer born on February 15, 1564, who made significant improvements to the telescope and used it to discover four moons revolving around Jupiter? On this date, can the students come back and fight their way to victory? 60 seconds separates these teams from a possible teacher or student party for the ages. Who wins this thing? We find out when we come back in commercial break. So don't go anywhere. the classroom we got a great game going on today the students and teachers from southwest leadership academy charter school are going head to head and we jumped into the topic of today's final exam being on this date three question teams and we started with this question on december 25th 1776 george washington and the continental army army famously crossed what river and we're going to start with the students so we start down here with kelvin what'd you say mississippi river on the east, but not close enough, Mr. Sherwood. Schoolkill River. We were looking for the Delaware River, guys. The Delaware is what we were looking for. We move on to question two. On July 27th, 2018, Drake released the video for nonstop, 
a song that became popular on TikTok when people used a specific lyric to participate in what viral challenge? Students, you TikTok queens and kings, what was it? Tootsie Slide. Incorrect. Teachers. Um, <laughs> hotline bling. Hotline bling. <laughs> it was called Flip the Switch, everybody. Flip oh. the Switch. Now we remember. Yeah. Question three. How about this one? What is the first name of the Italian astronomer born on February 15th, 1564, who made significant improvements to the telescope and used it to discover four moons revolving around Jupiter? Teachers, get this right, and the game is over. Miss Tap, what'd you say? Plato. <laughs> Incorrect. The door stays open for the students. Martiatu, if you get this right, you send it into overtime and tie the game. What did you say? Galileo Galactic. Galileo, I believe, yes. is what yes. you were looking for. <laughs> it is right and sends it into overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a tie game. The teachers have come roaring, excuse me, the students have come roaring back. And here it is, teams, buzzers in hand. You're gonna grab your buzzers for the tiebreaker. Here we go. I'm gonna ask another question about our final exam topic. The first team to buzz in and get it correct will win this game. If you buzz in and get it wrong, the other team's gonna have a chance to steal. Here is your question. On September 9th, 2022, Netflix released the fifth season of what Karate Kid sequel series? First one in, Kelvin. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. It's right, and the students have come from ahead and win the game! Unbelievable! Come from ahead and win! Time. That was unbelievable. Well done. Unbelievable squad.